Hey guys, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God Almighty, guys. Look, I wasn't even supposed to come to the Walmart. I was supposed to go down here, maybe visit Brother Jeremy at his barber shop, say what's up, you know, give some high fives, some hugs for Jesus, right? The, the Holy Spirit turns my wheel to Jesus Mobile. He turns me in here. I invited the Holy Spirit is the key message here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, to remind me why I'm giving you this message because if you don't and I don't invite the Holy Spirit, right, as a believer in Jesus Christ, God's very presence lives within you. We need to turn the key in our car to get rolling. We need to turn that key in prayer and invite that Holy Spirit, Him. Holy Spirit, God's very presence within you, God's Spirit, to lead you where you need to be, drive you where you need to be. Jesus, take the wheel. Let Him drive you through this road of life to lead you where you need to be at a certain time and a place because I'm going to tell you one thing, and I don't do this. It's I don't toot my own horn. I'm tooting a horn for the Lord God Almighty, and I'm just honored and privileged to be doing the Lord's work, man. As I'm out here, man, I'm like picking up little odds and ends cheese and, and coffee filters and uh, different things like that. Guys, the Lord just used me in a mighty way. A mighty, I'm going to cry, mighty, mighty way. I just prayed for a girl who's losing her mom. Believer, prayed. God gave me what I needed to say to these people. And this prayer was amazing prayer about how no matter how bad she looks in pain, that she's okay because Jesus on the cross was in much pain and God had him in complete peace, calmness, and comfort, just like her mom. It was amazing. We hugged, we cried. They're from Alabama. Cousin Melody, how you doing, hon? My dear Christian sister down there and, and, her, and her husband, Ray, with a great ministry as well, holding it down. They just came from Alabama with an Alabama Crimson Tide, you know, uh, uh, football shirt on. And we just cried and prayed in the parking lot. Now, here's the key. And as I walked through... Um, Walmart, everybody's yelling Happy Easter, Happy Easter. The Lord didn't give me this this big this big vocal box. I will just put it plain and simple. Big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to, to tell jokes and scream at the football games and baseball games, but he gave me this to shine for the Lord, and as I'm in here, and man, I'm just shining for the Lord, and as I'm doing his work, he's flowing through me, Resurrection Sunday, I'm cracking jokes about Michael Jordan, thought he got airtime, Air Jordan, it's Air Jesus, because he really got airtime, hallelujah, <laughs> praise the Lord God Almighty, and I'm just telling you guys, God used me in a mighty way, let him use you in a mighty way, invite the Holy Spirit into your situation, and let him flow. Move Daryl out of the way, more of him. That's what you got to do. God, listen guys, if I didn't have these messages and the Holy Spirit to give me these messages, these people would have been crying and feeling bad. They went from almost crying and looking like that out of their car to laughing. God used me in a mighty way to uplift and motivate these people, not to be focused on the sickness and where she is now, but the healing and where she's about to go. Hallelujah. It doesn't get any better than this, guys. Man, you can have your money. You could save a million dollars. I'm trying to save a million souls. Praise the Lord, as Brother Brian says in his song. And I'm doing the same thing. Let God work through you, man. You might have a good job. You might feel rich, but you ain't rich until you have this relationship with Jesus and let the Holy Spirit flow through you. The riches you feel can't come close to the high that I just got coming out of there, man, of, of stacking up the dollars, but saving saving lives, bringing them into the, into the light, out of the darkness of the Lucifer, but let the Holy Spirit flow through you, the message is. I just witnessed to so many people in there. God showed me. I was talking to two or three or four, but really 50, 60, 70, 80 people possibly heard your brother Daryl flowing through Walmart, you know, letting the Holy Spirit flow, letting him do his thing, and it was amazing. I want you to feel what I feel. I want you to do the Lord's work. I want you to get these messages out there to the people who are hurting, down, and beat up, hopeless. God, we can lift them up. God will use you to lift them up and bring hope to the hopeless and, and, and clarity on the situation. It looks so dark and grim, but God gave it to me just like that. Jesus suffered. Her mom's suffering, stage four cancer, beat up. She's not doing chemo. She's not doing this. She's holding on to the Lord. Just as Jesus denied the drugs on the cross, she's doing the same thing. That's a true soldier of God. That's somebody with strong faith, right? Guys, I love you all. I just had to stop, pull over here in Walmart. Some guy's looking at me over in the car like, what's he on? <laughs> I'm on Jesus, baby. And, um, and I'm high on Jesus, high on life. But here's the message. Whoo, Holy Spirit, have your way. Say that today, wherever you go, and let God get his messages to you. Let him steer the wheel of your life to lead you your feet. Let him direct your path to where you need to be, to what you need to be doing, to what you need to be speaking. And let God get these messages out to these people. God can use you in a mighty way, guys. We just 
uplifted so many people in Walmart, the Holy Spirit and I, he's flowing through me. And these people, right before I got in my car, they pulled in right next to my car. They get out. I say, hey, God bless you guys. Happy Easter. And then the guy stops and says, hey, man, I saw that. I saw your, your Christ life thing. And I saw your hat in the back of the car. It says, Jesus died for us. He said, I know you're a Christian. Can you pray for us right now? I was like, wow, if I kept going straight and went where Daryl wanted to do go and didn't invite the Holy Spirit in, those people, I'm going to cry, but we walking around hurting and in pain and hopeless. And God just used me to let them uplift them and give them hope, man. Let God use you to make this world a brighter and better place. Let God use you to uplift those who have fallen down. I don't want to be the helper. I don't want to be the helped. I want to be the helper. Let God work through you and let him use you as a tool to build other people up. Praise the Lord. I'm happy to be a tool in God's toolbox and he breaks me out every now and then and uses me to build up people. Let him use you to build up people in your lives and your path today. <sighs> Peace be with you, brother Daryl. It's diddly diddly D. I just brought the good word to thee, Daryl Mack, and I'm on the attack for the kingdom of heaven, baby. I used to fast break down the basketball court, run up and dunk stuff, lay up, whatever. But I'm shooting jumpers for Jesus. I'm dunking on Satan today. And let God give you the power and strength to do so as well. Let him fast break. Let him lead the fast break. And you go down. Let him give you that pass. And you take it up. Slam dunk the game winner. Let him pass you off the ball with the Holy Spirit. Let you hit that game winning jumper for everybody out here. Team Jesus. Champs for life. And if you don't know, now you know. Love you guys, man. Holy Spirit. Keep having your way. Let him have your way. Let him have his way in your life today. Let's make this world a brighter and better place. Hallelujah. Woo, man.